Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 7 of Darwell20's Omnifactory series, where today I'm making a basic alloy smeltery. Now I'm thinking I should be a little bit careful with my con conduits and, and power and electricity and make sure whenever I place a, a machine on a line here, I should make sure it doesn't blow up. Uh, that sounds like a smart idea, right? I felt like, you know, that seems, that seems pretty smart of me. Um, so I need more of that cabling, I think. No, I still have a little bit of 4x conductive. I'll probably need more eventually though, but I still have a little bit for now, so that works. So we've got an alloy smeltery. Booyah! That's gonna open up, I think, a lot of options for us. So if I just do that, does that give me my, yeah, that's what it does, that's what I thought, nice. I know I kind of already figured that out before, but I wanted to double check. Um, so last episode, we got into our first bunch of machines, right? And setting them up in, in a smart and relatively efficient manner in that nice little room that we've got going on. Um, so clearly there's, there's, there's more things that the alloy smeltery is gonna unlock for us. So we can get a better satchel, for example. Uh, we can get access to steel. Um, we can get access to this stuff and pulsating iron and ender pearls and all that good awesomeness. Um, so, uh, how about steel? Does that sound cool? Steel? Steel ingot? I'm just curious, like, what, what that's all about, right? Uh, steel ingot. Wow, there's a lot of things of steel. Electrical steel and crude steel and, oh my goodness. Uh, steel ingot. There we go. There we go. Alloy smeltery. Coal dust and wrought iron ingot. And coal dust um, can be coal with a mortar. That seems cool. Easy peasy. Uh, I've got a mortar. I had a mortar. I think I had a mortar. And I probably have some coal. So let's get like 16 of this stuff. That sounds cool. And see what's involved in making steel. I don't know that, you know. I don't know exactly what we're going to need it for, but I'm assuming something. And I'm also curious to see like how long this takes to cook. And go. <laughs> what did I miss? Did I miss something obvious? Oh, it's wrought iron. Wrought iron. Wrought iron plus. Okay, cool. I can make that happen too. That's also an option for me. How's my how's my wood situation outside? Always need to check on that. Sweet. I do kind of like all this wood that we got going on here. I should I should consider having an even larger tree farm down the hill or something like that with, you know, just throw everything as close together as it can be so I can chop down and get a million pieces of wood at once. It seems like a smart idea. I think I should consider that. It's definitely, definitely something to think about at least. All right, let that stuff cook. Let's put away these dudes. Oh my. Too many resources. Too many things. All right, so wrought iron. That ain't bad for steel production. Compared to, to, to some of the steel production things we've done in the past, that is not bad at all. Quest complete. What's up, bro? I like it. Um, the other thing we can <clears throat> jump into now is uranite dust and pulsating dust. <clears throat> so I know I've got a little bit of uranite, like a smidgen, uh, that I can then take this dude and do this with. So there's uranite dust. And then here is pulsating dust. Cool. Huzzah! And that can lead to pulsating iron ingots and ender pearls, apparently. So you can turn into ender pearls somehow? Is that is that what I'm is that what I'm in interpreting? Somehow I gotta imagine that that's a way. Alloy smeltery. Hey, look at that! Cool! 
Ender Pearl is pulsating iron dust plus diamond. That's kind of neat. Now I know where there's a Uranite vein, so that's cool. I'm on board with that 100%. That is cool. I like that. Um, and that'll unlock access to item conduits, right? Because we need pulsating iron to get item conduits. This will also apparently make carbon mesh and pulsating string and coal dust can be baked together into a carbon mesh in an alloy furnace. Combine that with a pulsating dust to get a pulsating iron mesh. All right, carbon, let's just do the pulsating mesh. Hey, pulsating mesh needs carbon mesh, which is a coal dust and four string. Well, that's not bad at all. I like that. I might even save these. These last two. So steel go in there for a minute. Let's check out, do I have string? I do. Yay, that's right, I've killed a lot of spiders, haven't I? I don't know what we need it for, but I'm sure we'll need it for some stuff, right? I mean, it's very reminiscent of the, uh... cool. Oh, I need four of the pulsating dust to get that. All right, good to know. I might go uh, out and about into the world to get a little bit of uh, stuff and things. Uh, let me put away some stuff I don't necessarily need right now. I've got my void satchel, I need that. That's a need. I might need to go collect some more uranite because that's good stuff. That gives me access to quite a few things, honestly. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Before I go out there, um, what other like things have we unlocked? Well, there's the mixer and the electrolyzer. That's what we need to get electrical steel. So I assume that we're working our way towards Ender IO. That's what it looks like to me. Oh wow, simulating mobs? That's already a thing? Sweet. That's kind of cool. And that, that'll, um, so dark steel is a thing. You want me to get 12 dark steel? How tricky would that be? Because dark steel makes for some good armor, dudes, I'm just saying. Some really good armor. Um, we just need a vibrant crystal to empower it. How hard would a vibrant crystal be in this pack? Uh, requires the autoclave and an emerald. Sweet. Not sure if there's any, like, trickery. Loot fabricator from pristine enderman matter. Really? Really? Pristine enderman matter equals... Well, that's a thing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I really need more fuel. I'm doing a really bad job of having trees at all times. Let's see, do I want to like just go make like a giant tree farm down at the bottom of my hill? It sounds like a cool idea, right? Maybe like right here? I think I should do that real quick. Just throw them all together and, you know. I can come down here later and there's just a ton of trees, right? Plus I have the watering can, let's not forget that. So if we really get into a... A pickle. We have the watering can to help us out. Okay. Plus, I'm getting lots of seeds now. So who knows what purposes. Alright, not terrible. That should be cool. This should be a stack's worth of saplings. What? I'm short one? How's that even possible? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I had a feeling that would be right. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna go mine some uranite and uh, so that I can get some more of this ender pearly type stuff. And then we'll come back in a minute and figure out what the next machines and resources to collect are. Because we're rapidly teching up into tech tier and having access to item conduits is going to be huge for us. Like that's going to be awesome. Because uh, item conduits leads to automation. Yeah, dudes. All right, back in a minute. All right, guys, just getting home. 
Broke my hammer. Got a new one. It's all good. Uh, picked up some andesite and granite that could probably go away. And then what looks to be a pretty good amount of uranite ore. I'll take it. Also found uranium-238. And pitch blend, which apparently smelts into pitch blend, which apparently can be used for things. I don't, know. don't ask me, guys. I just work here. Um, so, yeah, we got some good stuff. All right, now let's put things away uh, and decide what our next steps are. So three copper plus tin yields bronze. And I think it's about time, because I came back and don't have enough room for all the things I got, to organize my inventory just a smidgen. Uh, so I'm going to do some bronze chests out here and uh, just organize my inventory a little bit. And I'm hoping they work like iron chests in that they can sit next to each other and not be grumpy. Um, I could do steel chests as well if I wanted to, but I think we'll start with bronze. Um, it's interesting, you can't upgrade them, so that's fine. Um, so 54, that's how many slots a double chest has, right? That should be good. Yeah, I think that should be fine for now because I think we're going to get to applied energistics sooner than later. Um, and if I'm right about that, then I think we're cool to go ahead and just, you know, use some bronze chests to hold us over until we get to Applied Energistics, and then we'll be hopefully in good shape. I don't know to what degree we'll be into bra uh, Applied Energistics, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Um, one would only assume as such. Sweet. So this should be enough for at least four or five chests, I think. Yeah, if my math is right. Um, oh, I have more pitch blend ore that I have to put away. Yeah, time to run. Do, 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 do. More and more resources all coming together. Sweet. So let's see what these bronze chests look like once this compressor is done doing its thing. Yeah, so I have enough here for four chests. Alright, so let's check them out. Do a little bit of organizing. So usually the first type of thing I lay down is just blocks, right? So wool I'm not going to count as a block, funny enough. But most other things I will. So that all looks like blocks. They have like a weird color to them. I don't know. I almost don't like the color. They just look weird. But that's okay. It's all good. Um, that all looks good. Cool. And then the second one could be like mob drop type stuff. That's usually what I'll do, right? So like you, I don't even know why this pitch blend in here. Pitch bend, please. I'm gonna have to sort out all that ore stuff too, because there's a lot of ores in there and I have no idea, right? So we'll call you mob drops, we'll call you mob drops. Experience can be mob drops, right? Yeah, I'll see why not. And uh, that looks pretty good for now. Right, so not you and not you, but everything else is dropped from a mob, if you will. And then I usually like to also throw in there a plants chest. This has kind of been my resources chest that's like processed resources, but it's, you know, not probably a long-term solution to be fair. This way we can at least have some degree of organization. Um, so, so plants would be like anything like this, saplings, I guess, should I throw wood in there? I don't see why not. Oh, arrows and bows can go into the mob drops chest. We can organize a few things here. More plants, more plants. That could be a plant thing. Fertilizer for plants, 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 and plants. See how quickly we're getting to the point where we have lots of organization? I love it. I guess I'll throw you in the blocks chest, right? You guys were mob drops, you guys were all plants, plants, and plants. Um, you guys could be blocks, I guess, and flint, I'll call it resource. See, just a little bit of organization goes a long way. Right, and then everything else can just be miscellaneous junk, I guess. You guys are technically resources, right, and everything else here can just be miscellaneous junk. I don't think that they actually fit in anywhere specific. So I wouldn't mind this guy. I don't know if he goes in here, because I'm kind of calling that like a parts chest. But for now, that's fine. I like it. Sweet. All right, now we finally have, we're, we're finally getting somewhere. So let's see what the quest book has for us, and we'll see what's up next. So you wanted me to make dark steel, for sure. Um, 
Did we want to do that? Because that'll get a that'll get us upgrading charging quartz. Ooh, that gets us like really to something interesting. Um, I think I might want to go down this path a little bit though. More materials three requires an electrolyzer. Maybe I should check out what the electrolyzer gets me access to. Um, and a mixer is apparently also important. So how about the basic mixer and the basic electrolyzer? Does that sound cool? So mixer, we can get rid of alloy smeltery and electrolyzer, boom. All right guys, we're back. So I've got some wrought iron plates here. Do we have more wrought iron plates down here? I do, good, because I need them. Uh, so in here, I'd like to make one of these and then follow up with one of the, 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 the these. Booyah, cool. Um, so with that, I think I'm gonna start with the electrolyzer. So I need four gold wire, which shouldn't be too bad to make. Um, and then I need a tin cable and a piece of glass. And that's literally it. Boom and boom. So that should be my electrolyzer. Not 100% sure what I need it for, um, but we've got one and that's a quest complete. And I'm assuming that we'll find out soon enough what we need it for, right? Uh, right, quest complete? Basic electrolyzer. Oh, and then you want me to make some things. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we'll totally make uh, some things here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, uh, 4X iron cable is what that was, right? Conductive iron or regular iron? That was 4X conductive iron. Right. Can I alloy smelt you? Yeah, I can. Booyah. Right, so not you and you, you and you. Right, so now you should have enough more iron now that I can make another one of these and another one of these. And that takes the electrolyzer off the list. Now we need the mixer. So we need another electric motor, which did I make an extra one of those? No, I made an extra piston. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, we could use this to make our motors, right? Electric motor. Um, or do we want to do a separate thing? Well, you do need tin cables to make these, and we already kind of have tin cables. And copper wires, too, which we could borrow some of, because we have a few. So yeah, let's do that. Let's teach you that. Okay, so uh, I would like you to know how to make iron rods. Can I make them? Nothing. None of the machines I have yet can make iron rods. So we need to get a screwdriver over here. Is that right, or is it a file? No, it's the file. Right, um, and then we need some iron. Did I use up all my iron? No way. No way. We've got a little bit of iron. Oil sands, vanadium magnetite. I might, I might have used up all my iron. I'd be surprised if I really did though. Galena, uranite. We have more copper, which is nice. Hey, there's some iron ore. I'll take that. More iron ore, all right, cool. So we definitely have a little bit more. Cool, hey, do that for me, would you? That would be cool. All right, so that's probably at least enough to get the three of these. And I wanna say it's four, so let's lock this dude Lock this dude. And then are you cool to make that for me? Yes, you are. Nice. All right, cool. So now we can make electric motors in here, no problem. Cool. So I've got my circuits. I've got my LV machine hole, full glass, and a tin. Wow, that's a lot of things. Uh, tin rotor. Needs four tin plates. I think I'm low on tin. That's another thing I'm low on. Tin. Not that low, though. Not that low. To do more tin. Cool. Um, so let's get like, I don't know, a dozen pieces of tin, and then hopefully that's enough to make the rotor. I think that'll be cool. I think so. Good enough for now. Um, by the way, you. Every now and then this chest gets stuck. Um, 
So I don't know if we need that tin rotor to like remember all these pieces, right? But I need the file, the screwdriver, and the hammer, right? So I've got most of you guys. Do I wanna remember you in a table? I'm not sure if I need to or not. Let's do it, and then if we don't need it, you know, I'll do it down here towards the end, right? Because I don't know how many of these things are needed out. I mean, eventually we might need them more. So yeah, let's 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 do the thing. So I need four tin plates and a tin ring, which is a tin rod. Like, let's put you and you in there. Will you? Yes, you will. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. So like, we'll remember the tin rod. The hammer goes in. Remember the tin ring. And then I need four tin plates and a tin screw. Which is two bolts. Which is a saw with a rod. Okay, so we'll get another rod. We'll get the saw. Knock that dude down. We'll get the screw, lock that dude down, and I just need four tin plates. Cool. And that should be good, right? I think so. And then I just need some uh, some glass, which I think I've got some of. Yeah, I do. Nice. I knew I cooked up glass at some point. So you should be wrapping up your tin plates. Hooray! Lock that dude down, and we'll flag this as rotor, tin rotor. I don't know if there's other types of rotor, but we'll mark you as tin rotor. Tin rotor. And we'll see if we need more of those in the future. Maybe we will. Who knows? So what am I missing? What am I missing to make this? Anything? Nothing. Booyah! Basic mixer. Hello! That's cool. So you should be done making this now, which we can extrude into wires, right? And then we can combine you with rubber. To do that. Mixer, hooray. All right, lots of machines, uh, lots to automate eventually. Definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to when I can automate some of this stuff. It's not bad by hand, though. Like, it's really not, especially if you do the work table thing. Like, doing this, so much better. So much better than doing it by hand. Right? Um, so let's combine you guys. Let's combine you guys and then you guys. Sweet. All right. Putting away resources for a sec, and we've got another bit of progress, right? Uh, I'm gonna put you in here, because that's typically where I need wrought iron plates for these guys, right? Uh, with that done, what do we got next? Quests. So that completed the mixer. Um, for now, you'll be using it to make glowstone dust and energetic blend. That's cool. Glowstone dust is made from phosphor and gold dust, or you could gather it from the nether. Energetic blend is made from glowstone dust and redstone dust. So we have access to glowstone now. I remember wanting that a little bit ago. I don't remember why, but I remember glowstone was gonna be nice to have at some point. There was a thing that I kind of wanted to make that needed glowstone, and I don't remember. It was maybe uh, the Feral Flare Lantern, right? That's what it was. Yeah. So if I wanted to get a Feral Flare Lantern going here, that could be cool. Feral Flare Lanterns are nice. We might hold off on that though. Um, because what I'm going to do is remove you from the list. And then, are we good to make dark steel? What did we decide was involved in making dark steel ingots? Uh, it's an alloy smelter with obsidian. Ah. Haha. -ha. All right, cool. Uh, Aqua Fortis. Interesting. Igneous extruder. Is that a thing I have access to now? I haven't even looked, but I'm assuming machine frames are gated behind something. Stainless steel plates. And mana infused ingots. Stainless steel needs a blast furnace from Greg Tech. 
and stainless steel dust is iron, chrome, and nickel. Things that I haven't even seen yet, as far as I know. There's a oh, ruby ore can be crushed into chrome dust at a rare chance. Or chromite dust can be electrolyzed into it. Okay, cool. Lots and lots of things to figure out. Um, but that said, we need to get obsidian. And I wouldn't mind obsidian just because uh, I really wouldn't mind obsidian. There's reasons to have obsidian. Uh, one of them being that I can make an obsidian furnace. That might be better than a diamond furnace. So I think what we should do is this. I'm going to head over here. I don't know that there's any lava lakes available. Nothing jumps out at me as like, hey, lava can be here, right? Um, but I know where there's some lava underground. Shall we take a trip? Come with me. And you'll be in a world of lava. You thought I was going to say pure imagination, didn't you? Tricked you. You know what? I'll do that later. I want to go get my lava. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. I did it down here last time I came by so that I wouldn't butt my head so many times. But I believe, so this is where I found all my copper. Cool. Um, and then down here leads to where I found some other resources. And look what I happened to run into. Ta-da, lava. Now, I did make a wrought iron pickaxe because my stone one broke. Does that mean I can make break iron? Or, or, like, what happens if I do you? Will you? You will not. That's a bummer. So let's be prepared to harvest a bunch of... What I'd like to is get to the top layer so that I can clear it a little bit easier because I've got so many, so much obsidian to get. So how about I, uh, let's do this. That looks pretty darn good. Is that cool? What I'd love to do so that then I could do this. How well does this break? What I really need is a magnet. That's what I really need. Oh, hello. Do you not? Oh, maybe because I was holding shift? It might be because I was holding shift. That works pretty good, to be fair. It really does. So, why don't I do this? Uh, I think it's about wrapping up point for the episode. So I'm going to wrap it up here. We'll come back next time. I will have gotten a bunch of obsidian, hopefully. And uh, we should be good to do cool stuff. All right, that will 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, next episode, we will get uh, some furnaces, like the, like the obsidian one. We'll also get access to some better uh, resources. And I think, um, as you saw in the book just now, we're getting close-ish to the point where we're going to have access to... Uh, that yeah that would probably be smart uh close ish to the point where you have access to apply logistics because we saw quartz charging right so that's that's pretty close all right take it easy guys